President Trump's proposed budget has ignited a battle in the Wild West between the livestock industry and animal rights activists. It's a dispute over grazing territory. Tens of thousands of wild horses could end up being slaughtered. Meg Oliver reports tonight from western Utah. In Beaver County, Utah, wild horses of every color, from charcoal to caramel, charge across the range. A symbol of the great American West, one that's multiplying by 20% a year. Just in the last 10 years, we've gone from 30,000 to over 70,000. What happened? Within the last three years, we pretty much quit gathering. For decades, the Bureau of Land Management rounded up excess horses and placed them in private ranches and feedlots until they ran out of space. Now the big fear is that the government will legalize the slaughter of these horses. Under President Trump's proposed budget, the Wild Horse Management Program would lose $10 million in funding. The spending plan would also remove language from a 1971 act that would open the door for wholesale destruction. They're under attack by our own government. Wild horse advocate Simone Netherlands has dedicated her life to protecting these majestic Mustangs. Are there too many wild horses now? Absolutely not an overpopulation problem of wild horses. What we have is a discrimination problem. Across 10 states, 26.9 million acres of public land are set aside for wild horses. Meanwhile, there are 155 million acres for livestock. Deep in the desert mountains outside Milford, cattle rancher Mark Winch says the range is under attack with too many horses devouring the forage. We're trucking cattle 150 miles, whereas in the past we're able to herd them 10 miles. Do you think that's the answer to slaughter these wild horses? What do you do with your cats and dogs when there's too many in the city? Do you just let them run rampant? Wild horse advocates want time to try new types of contraception to control the population. But time is running out. A new federal budget could make scenes like this history. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Beaver County, Utah.